going to approach this a little differently than people might expect. So Milton Keynes Lightning forward, or defenseman, I should say, Matt Nickerson, gone from the league. Gone. Why am I covering something that happened in the uh, the, year, the, Eng- the English League? So England. Uh, he played for uh, the Fife Flyers and the Belfast Giants before this season. He's played 36 games for Milton Keynes. Six points, 150 penalty minutes in 36 games. That's a throwback, boys and girls. That's a guy who fights. And fights a lot. With the Connecticut Whalers in 2000-2001, he had 141 penalty minutes in 22 games. With the Texas Tornado of the North American Hockey League in 2002-2003, he had 277 penalty minutes in 47 games. Drafted by the Dallas Stars, never played in the NHL. The interesting thing to me is this. So, and I'll, I'll link to the, the footage in the description for this video. He's ready to fight with anybody and everybody because that's his job. That's what he's being paid to do. He's an enforcer. He's a fighter. And while he's he's been capable of, um, you know, being a decent player, hockey player over his career like let me just take a look here at victoriaville tigers no 405 uh he played 48 games 12 points 182 penalty minutes for a defenseman eh. um he <clears throat> the highest up he got was 06 07 he played for the iowa stars he played 40 games three three assists 97 penalty minutes so he is he is a tough guy this is this is his role the, the part that i find strange He's 6'4", 234 pounds as well. But but the thing that I find strange, and the reason I'm doing a video on it is because I looked at the footage, and you'll see it when you click on it. So he's ready to fight with everybody on the ice, and the officials are kind of trying to get him off the ice. And HL officials would have had him off the ice sooner. I'm just throwing that out there. But as he's coming off, there's a fan gooning around the corner, just like making faces at him around the corner. So Nickerson takes his stick, moves it from right hand to left or left to right, depending on whether this is a mirror image or whatever. Uh, I believe he went right to left to get this hand free. So as he's coming through, he swings his arm and he he hits the kid pretty good. And it looked to me like a fan behind the kid who got clocked thought it was pretty funny. Taking pictures of this kid getting clocked. Fans mock players during games, and I don't like it. I don't. I I really, really don't. I don't mind booing players, uh, you know, like you see Marshan get booed, Doughty get booed, Carlson gets booed in some areas, Char gets booed in some cities. I don't mind booing players, but when it's when it's people down at the glass and they're mocking them, they're fingering them, they're yelling at them, they're swearing at them, all I can think is, aren't you tough? He's six foot two, two hundred and twenty pounds. He's six foot three, two hundred and thirty. Like, they're big hockey players. And here's these these people, usually guys in their twenties, up at the up at the glass. Hey man, up yours. Yeah, you suck. Yeah. Like, like really. Like yesterday, my stepson, his team scores a goal, and as he skates by the other bench, he mocks them. So I left left the uh, the timekeeping area and I went around and I told him because immediately that team then went down and scored and I said to him I said hey I said if you're going to mock the other bench make sure you're winning first you're losing and right after you mock them they scored again so you might want to watch when you're going to mock the other team and with fans like there's the time the fan fell into the penalty box with Ty Domi and Domi just pummeled that fan I loved it I loved it because there are so many times where fans are really, really nasty. Some You'll see it in the penalty box where fans are just jerks. And it's no one city's worse than every other. There are, there are a number of occasions where it's pretty bad. I really honestly think ushers should throw people out of the game for that. When it, And I'm talking about when it's constant and when they're... The, it has to be distracting to fans around those fans. Like, you, you, you get a really good ticket for a game. You're paying a lot of money. And you sit down and you're watching the game and you're like, all right, this can be a great experience. And then numb nuts next to you stands up and starts mocking players and yelling at him, swearing at him, and the banging on the glass. The banging on the glass thing gets really obnoxious. 
There has to be fans in that area that just want to take the guy who's banging his fists on the glass constantly and decide to do that with his head. Say, this will work better. This makes a bigger... Notice that hollow noise? It's your head because you don't have a brain. Sit on it. Shut up. And, you know, it's it's funny because there have been times where I've been in hockey games and there's been an obnoxious fan around me and it's really distracting. So back to what happens here. You know, Nickerson is within striking distance of a fan as he leaves the ice. And then uh, this this team, I believe it's Milton Keys. Let me check you out. Milton Keynes, Lightning, released a statement that they've they've terminated his contract and it is of the utmost importance to our league that we protect our players and our fans. Then keep them apart. Holy crap. Did we not learn from the Monica Selish incident? You don't have fans within reach of players. Except in football. They have this weird thing in, North, in, in NFL where fans jump into the stands or players jump into the stands and every time I see it, I kind of wince a little bit. I'm like, do, do you, like, you know, I get it. Lambo leap and it's great. Do you know that all of those people aren't crazy? No. Should you be jumping into the crowd? I really honestly don't think so. I, I'm not a paranoid person, but I'm not jumping at a crowd of strangers. I'm not. And I think of, uh, there's, there's a, a gift that I really like of, and I don't know who the artist was, goes to do a stage dive into the crowd and the crowd just steps to the side and he hits the floor don't trust strangers and don't let fans be down within reach of players you go to an nhl game you might be able to reach your hand out and players can reach up and high five you that's fine that's all right but you know this is a case where as he's coming through the door there's fans and there's no barricade so this 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 goon that's on the way through of course he's mad he wanted somebody to fight and all these players are like i'm not fighting him he's gonna kick my ass do you want to fight i'm not fighting him crazy canadian so he's still mad as he leaves the ice and here's this stupid fan mocking him so he does what almost any goon would do in that situation where a fan's within reach ty domi would have done it bob probert would have done it because you don't know who this kid is you don't know what's going on with him and all you know is you're really really angry and he's mocking you to your face. So, take a seat, kid. And it wasn't that hard, because I didn't, I don't think the fan fell off his feet. Why do teenagers have to drive like that? Every lunch hour. And they're always crappy cars. They're never good cars. So he spins his tires, and then... It's so stupid. Anyways, um... But, so to me, like, I understand they got to protect their fans, they got to do this whole PR thing, but you're not protecting your fans by having them within reach of players leaving the ice. That's not protecting fans. And, and it's England. Doesn't, don't English soccer fans start a fight every other week? That's the way it looks over here, because that's what we see in the, in, in the, the, the bloody highlight reels. You don't see a lot of, you'll see English soccer goals, but then, you know, fight. Fight in the stands. Fight between fans. Fans on fans jumping on the like jumping on the field. Like I, <clears throat> I feel for Nickerson is what I'm trying to say here. In this situation, I feel for the player leaving the ice. And while I understand the league going, we can't have this. The league needs to do something. I don't care that you know it's England and it's it's a small league, and you know it's it's not the same as as if it was the Swedish league or or the American League, if you're concerned, and it says in their press release that their concern is fan safety, you don't want them to be near your players. If you want player safety to be there, then don't have the fans within reach as they leave the ice. I'm actually surprised this is the first incident I've heard of because if fans and players are within reach of each other and we know how passionate sports can get, I'm really honestly surprised if this is the first incident. That's why I'm throwing if in there. But I'd be interested to know what you guys think, because to me, you know, is there any any reason for a guy to hit a fan? No. Is it understandable in some circumstances? Absolutely. Absolutely. As a wrestling fan, I've seen it, where a wrestler turns around and belts a fan. Uh, CM Punk did it famously, and he hit the wrong person. But could I understand it? Absolutely. Because there was a fan in the crowd kept pushing him. 
and and that's that's another incident where it's like okay you have to keep a, a separation between your employees and fans that pay to watch those employees and i don't care what sport it is you have to have that separation but i'd be interested to know what you guys think because to me you know all that's being reported is well here's this knucklehead got thrown out of the league look what he did hitting this fan and all i could think was why was the fan within reach in the first place but I'd be interested to know if I'm the only one that feels that way. Uh, again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. And hey, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys again soon about what's on that board in the corner, which is all the games for tonight. Busy night tonight.